We've got barbecue back here. Every, you're all invited. I forgot how to do my own intro. <laughs> Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing all right, Jared. Doing all right. How are you doing today? Uh, poop sock. That, that's, another, that, another that's, epi- that's what you get out of That's what you get out of me. Another episode of Collegiate Chaos here, uh, Rival, Rivals Week edition here. And the lesson from this last weekend, Jared, everybody's vulnerable. Yeah, everyone, everyone bleeds. I mean, I've been saying, I've been saying it for, I think I've been saying it since September. Everyone bleeds. No, no one, yeah. no one's great. There's a bunch of good teams. No, no one's great. Um, yeah. Well, let's 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 start with let's start with Georgia here. Eight point victory over Georgia Tech. Not a yeah. not a great Georgia Tech team here, and Georgia's no. struggled. Georgia struggled here. Georgia's offense has, or defense rather has some real issues. Um, so I don't know. It's again, could they lose to Bama this week? Yes. As an Ohio State fan, do you want that? No, you don't. You you want Georgia to win. More, more, more on that later. More, more on, on that, that later. later. <laughs> ah, I think we can talk right. about it now. I, I think we can no. sprinkle it in. I think we can sprinkle no. just sprinkles, just sprinkles. So the number four team, Washington. Three point victory over Washington State. I sure would have been. I thought nice. this could. I thought this sure could have been. been nice. This. I thought this could have been a a close one here, but boy. Right. Ooh. Yeah. And, and and then once again, if you're Ohio State fans, you need Washington to win the Pac-12. I mean, I don't know if you need to. Um, but the the two outcomes you need out of the Pac-12 championship game, if you're an Ohio State fan, is either a Washington win. Or Oregon wins in a incredibly convincing fashion. I think if I think if Oregon totally boat races or duck races or whatever, uh, Washington, then I think I think that's just as good. Does Oregon jump us? If they if well, I mean we'll we'll talk about if they jump us in our rankings. Um, but even if they don't, I mean, I I don't know what the committee will do. We'll, we'll talk about what we do, but ultimately if they don't jump us this week, they'll jump us next week if they beat Washington and become the PAC 12 champions. So what happens this week? I don't, I don't think matters a whole lot. Getting that, getting a victory over Washington and getting that conference champion check next to your name will put them over us. And I don't, I don't think it matters a whole lot if they pass us on Tuesday or not. Number five, Florida State beats Florida twenty four to fifteen. This was a weird game. If you watch, you watch this game, the first half, like Florida dominated Florida State, and then Florida State, like towards the end of the second quarter, started to find themselves um florida totally screwed the pooch on this one man um they completely dominated the game and didn't put up nearly enough points to show for it um and then it the the wheels totally came off and i i don't know man florida state looked god awful for most of that i mean for almost the entirety of the first half yeah. Um, both of these, neither of these teams are good, and I'm including Florida State. Um, th- I mean, with no, without their quarterback, they're they're just there. That's it. Um, Notre Dame beats Stanford. Who cares? Clemson beats South Carolina. Who cares? NC State beats UNC. Who cares? ISU beats KSU. Um, I don't know if this ended up having any outcome with the Oklahoma State getting into the Big 12 championship game or not. Um, I'm not sure how that played out, to be honest with you. Um, But uh, it may have been important, may not have been. Point is, is that Texas is playing 
Oklahoma State in the Big 12 championship game. Um, Kyle, this is our Oklahoma only... St- Oklahoma State played at BYU, chop. Not Oklahoma, no, not Oklahoma. Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State is yeah, Oklahoma playing, State, yeah. They played BYU. Is playing Texas uh, in the Big 12 championship game. Um, yeah. The... Ironically, that may hurt Texas. I think it would have been Texas by murder. I don't. I, I don't disagree, Chop. I don't disagree at all. Um, ironically, it may have been better for Texas to get Oklahoma, because, like, if you're Texas, beating Oklahoma is a much better resume item, and then you can play the, yeah, we lost Oklahoma, but we beat them back. Uh, which I think is, I, I, I think, a, a really good argument to, you know, talk your way into the playoffs. Um, Kyle, it is worth noting, by the way, and I don't know how serious any of us should take this. Um, but the ESPN website is giving Ohio State a 52 percent chance of making the college football playoff. And I don't have it in front of me. Um, but I think they gave Texas like a 13. Don't believe them. I don't. Stuart, I don't. I, I do not see Ohio State having a 52% chance of getting into the playoffs. I don't see it at all. I, I don't know where that's coming from. And then, like I said, they only gave Texas like a 13% or something crazy like that. Um, I, I don't I don't see how Texas can can win this game and Yeah, they beat Bama by Bama by two scores. By two scores, mind you. Their one loss was a decent loss to Oklahoma on a neutral field. They're used to assessing quality losses. Yeah. Uh, Other games here. So Oregon... Oregon took care of business over Oregon State, Texas over Texas Tech, um, Missouri beats Arkansas, uh, Louisville, um, Team Chaos taking a soul this weekend here. Louisville loses to Kentucky 38-31. to uh, Yeah, this is our only, man, we got real close to a lot of chaos this week, but this was our only real true, honest chaos moment of the week. Um, I think this was my, I think this was my pick for the weekend. Was it? I, I, I know I had Florida and, and Florida State, and I felt really good about that through most of the first half. <laughs> um, yeah, the uh, LSU beats Texas A&M. So, so, Tennessee. so that, I mean, the, Louis, Louisville yes, losing actually could Louisville losing could actually be a really good thing for Ohio State because if Louisville if Louisville does beat Florida State though yeah I think if Louisville had beaten Florida State I don't think I, I don't think they're going to put Louisville in over Ohio State I, I don't think they would have even Louisville as a ACC champion I don't think they would have. Um, but I could be wrong. So, yeah, it, do, it certainly doesn't hurt Ohio State that Louisville lost this game. So. Hooray, I guess. <laughs> All right, uh, what other games here? Penn State shuts out Michigan State, Oklahoma, TCU in a Oklahoma beats TCU in a shootout. <laughs> well, how many points? 114 points in that game. Jeez, Al. Uh, Alabama, uh, Mrs. Alabama, Alabama in a dog fight against a really, really bad Auburn team here. Came, came down to the wire, came down to, came down to the wire there. Fourth and goal from the, the 31, 31 yard line. That's how Alabama won this game. Fourth and goal. From the 31 yard line, and they converted it. That's. I don't know, man. That's terrible. I'm sorry. That's terrible football. Like that entire. You want to talk about. I talked. 
I talked in the Monday episode about Ohio State and Michigan being really good football. And sometimes like one team just has to win eventually. This you want just go. If you get an opportunity, go watch Alabama's last drive. That is just bad football all around. That is Alabama totally giving the game away through stupidity and then somehow still winning it on fourth and 31 fourth and goal from the 31. I should add bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. Uh, LSU comes back from behind to beat Texas A&M 42 to 30. Uh, Airs. Hmm. Maybe. Did he, did he win the What's Heisman that? on that? Maybe. I don't care. Heisman's stupid. I don't no. want to talk about it. No. Maybe. Uh, Arizona, Arizona, Arizona keeps winning here. Destro- destroys uh, Arizona State. Uh, any other games here? I think, I think those are pretty much it here. Uh, Liberty, Liberty, it, who's the, the highest? Is Liberty the highest no. here? Uh, no, Tulane is. Tulane. Tulane. Tulane's 11 and 1, and Liberty still undefeated. There you go. All right, Kyle, uh, let's get into our tier list. All right, this should be fun. I'm glad you think it's fun. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. So I think, uh, yeah, I definitely, definitely going to be just moving around here. So Georgia, Georgia's now, one. What did we skip over, Stuart? About the game of the century. If you're talking about Ohio State and Michigan. We talked about it for an hour on the Monday episode. Always be plugging. Um. Yeah, so, I mean, let's... I mean, we're, are we moving Ohio State out and replacing them with Florida State? I mean, yeah, yeah, you have you have to. I don't know if you have to. I think you could very easily. So let's just shuffle this around. We can have a conversation, Georgia versus Michigan at number one, if you want. Um, and then. I think this is a legitimate conversation between these three teams. I think where do I see the video? You 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 look on me on Discord. Look at my video feed on Discord. I, I think in my opinion here it's Georgia, Michigan, uh, Washington, and then Florida State. You can't see I am showing my video, right? Yeah, I'm showing my video. You have to look at my camera. My iPad doesn't show video. Okay. Well, I don't know what to tell you guys. I I can't troubleshoot it live. Unfortunately, we have to do the, we have to do the show. Um, so we have, do you want to have a quick conversation? Michigan versus Georgia at number one. No, (laughs) I, I, I think, Yes, yes. Uh, the Michigan had the win over Ohio State, best best win in the country. Sure, but I, I, th- also, I think we have to. We also beat Penn I think State. we have to. I think we have to look. Yeah, in Penn State, yes. But I think we have to look at Georgia's resume as well too. They got they got Was a over win Missouri. over Missouri, Missouri, and Ole Miss, and Tennessee, who is still ranked two. I. Uh, Tennessee is not ranked. I don't care. I, I refuse to acknowledge Tennessee's ranking. It's absurd. I just, I just, I just think Georgia's resume. I think Georgia's resume is just. If we're, I'm sorry. If we're going top, better. Mi- if Michigan, we're going Michigan's top definitely wins. top heavy. Michigan's definitely top heavy. Yes, I, I will. I will say that. But as an overall, I, I can't put I, Michigan at one. I can't put Michigan at one. I tell you, I'm. I'm going to keep Georgia at one. Um, but to me. It has to do with the fact that they're a bunch of cheating assholes and that this is going to get vacated anyway. So I'm going to leave them. At, I'm going to leave them at two. All right, Kyle, we could make the argument that Florida state is 
uh, undefeated. Uh, we we can't take. Mm-hmm. I I well, I mean, I guess I can't. I can't tell you how to feel. What? But in my opinion, we we shouldn't be taking into account conference championship games. We're not projecting forward. Correct. Correct. This is about what has happened, not what will happen. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just so we're on the same page. Yeah. Um, yeah. Bo- both teams, Washington and Florida State, recently haven't looked the greatest. I this this is kind of my point. Yeah. But I, I got I got to go off of what. What I got to go off of schedule, at, at this point. You, you look at Florida State. Florida State has one win, two wins. I'm sorry, two wins over current Everyone top has a twenty five. Two top top twenty five teams right now in LSU and Clemson, while Washington has Arizona. Oregon, um, Oregon, Oregon State. I'm not sure if Utah's still ranked. Um, I don't think they are anymore. Um, but I, I think, I think Washington's schedule is better than Florida State's. So I'll, sure, I'll give what the about, slight nod. I'll, I'll give the oh, slight nod to Washington. Um, but can we talk about game control though? Washington hasn't looked like a dominant football team in uh, against bad competition in weeks. Neither is Florida State. I you, you're and I'm not taking my ta- argument. Florida State hasn't looked all that great either. I agree. I'm not arguing for Florida. St- I mean, I am arguing for Florida State, but based purely on the fact that they're undefeated. I'm 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 talking here. here here's what I'm talking about, Kyle. Florida State at number three. These are our three undefeated teams. Washington's have, undefeated. Excuse me? Washington's undefeated. That's that's fair. Um, crap. I, you know, I've already projected them as a loss next week, if I'm being honest. But all right, I confused myself on that one. I, 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 right, I kind so of the, feel that way about Florida State, too. But Well, yeah, that's that's also fair. So I, yeah, I think I, those I, those teams are undefeated. Those teams are in the top four. Is that fair? Oh, why my oh oh okay, there I fixed it. Sorry, the centering was terrible on that. I um, I still think Washington's three and Florida State's four, but I agree with Georgia one, Michigan two. But if you swap Washington to three and Florida State four, that's that's what I have. Um I'll I'll agree. Um based off of resume. Um all right, we do we do not if you're new here. Um Michigan one helps Ohio State. Well, we're not we're not trying to scheme it for Ohio State. <laughs> <laughs> um Ohio State at 4 or excuse me, at 5 um is how I see it, although you know, we don't rank the A tier. Um, if you're new here, we don't rank the A tier. Now we do need to drop Louisville. Yes. Yep. Louisville goes down to B tier. Okay. Um, Oregon State is is out of it. We can get rid of Oregon State. Missouri's fine. Oklahoma's fine. I, I think the re- I think the rest of B tier is fine too. Yeah. Liberty, Tulane, Iowa. Arizona, Ole Miss, Penn State, Louisville makes up our B tier, and I, I don't, I, I think no, that's hear, that's fine. No, hear me out, Jared. Hear me out. Yeah, hear me out. I know we're not ranking A tier. I know we're not ranking A tier. Okay, but Oregon slightly behind Ohio State. Um, okay. And then Texas and then Alabama. Okay. I mean, I mean, we can do this and that's fine, but like, again, I'm not interested in ranking a tier all that much. Um, I don't know why you guys are shitting on Ohio state. Quite frankly. They have 
like the best loss in the country. They have an excellent resume of wins because we failed. Cool. Uh, literally all of A tier failed. That's why they're in A tier. They all have a loss. Bam, Bama, Bama, Bama lost, lost by, by two scores to Texas. By double digits. Yep, they, they lost by double digits. Oregon lost to Washington, which is what their a new rivalry essentially is mm-hmm. now that they're, you know, leaving. Yeah, and, and, both, and both both Texas and Oregon, yeah, lost to lost to um top opponents by a single score. Yeah. So that's one of the you, reasons you can, you why can, I, you can I, throw I, those three. You can throw those three around. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, but but ultimately. And if we start to, so this is, okay, before we do that, this is our chart. Yes? Yes. These are the, these are the only teams that have, have a shot left. Is there, okay. is there even, is yeah. there even a ninth team? I keep, I keep seeing that there could be a ninth team, but no, no, it's, no. it's these eight. These, these are the eight teams. Kyle, we, we barely included Louisville in the conversation last week before they lost. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, that's it, that's just OK. I, th- I think that I think that's what it is. So it's it's these eight teams. It's these eight. Since I know and we're having some one of, and, issues, I'm going to go ahead and just drop this into the chat. There we and go. one and only only one of these teams. Can't do anything. Only one of these teams, it's beyond their control of what what happens. Right. Only one of these teams can't lose and only one of these teams can't add to their resume. Um, Missouri A tier. Yeah. They've had a really well, nice season. Missouri. Yeah, they're, they're at B tier and I, they're, they're two losses. A, a, or, a tier me, is B-tier. that they, yeah, Missouri's at B tier because just they, they're so close there's there's they're they're very close to uh, to the A tier, but that that A tier that we have is there they have a shot at at the playoffs here. Did the Big Ten try to flip Mizzou? Um, I mean, I don't I don't see anyone leaving the Big Ten or the SEC. So I'll just go ahead and say it like that. Uh, and besides that, Mizzou's only good every once in a while. They're not, you know. Um, the all right. So now let, let's talk playoff scenarios. Um, actually, let me go ahead and save this just to so I can move things around and not wear not worry about it. Let me go ahead and save this. All right, now. All of these teams, as Kyle already pointed out, if we focus on S and A tier, all of these teams are playing this weekend except for Ohio State. To me, the ideal scenario uh, has... Actually, let me just go ahead and slide all these teams down. Since they can't make it, let's put Tennessee in M tier. Uh, I, I almost want to put Tennessee in M tier just to spite the committee for constantly overrating them, but we don't do, do things it. here out of spite. You have my you have my approval. I uh, but we don't do things here out of spite. Um Maybe Georgia wins. Let's say Georgia wins, which yep. takes Alabama out. Yep. Let's say Michigan wins. Because of course they are going to, and even by the way, I think Michigan's in the playoffs even if they lose to Iowa. Now, unless they absolutely just get destroyed, which unless unless it's like fifty nine to th- nothing. Th- 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 this is this is <laughs> Iowa though. <laughs> Imagine Iowa scoring fifty nine points. How many? A, how many a, games? In a month. In a month. Yeah, I was about to say how many of their last few games would we have to put together to put put together to get them to 59 points um but yeah uh michigan beats iowa um let's say florida state loses to louisville 
let's say that Texas Washington, loses. let's say Texas Te- loses. Hold on, hold on. Texas yeah, loses. Right. Yep. Let's say Texas loses, which I, I'm I'm just guys. This is I'm not holding out a ton of hope that that's what's going to happen. I I really liked Oklahoma State in the middle of the season. They were terrible at the beginning of the season, and I think they've fallen off. They they Oklahoma State had a really nice run in the middle of the season, and I think that's about it for them, unfortunately. And I do not see them beating Texas. Yeah, Texas isn't great. And listen, every everyone bleeds. No one is no one's great. You know, it's like, oh, what about Ohio State's offensive line? Everyone has a weakness. Everybody has a weakness. Uh it's so, Ohio State says so their those, offensive line. Other teams have problem issues elsewhere. Those those four things, those four things right there. Georgia winning, Michigan winning. Is Brown some sort of offensive tackle I'm not aware of, Chop? <laughs> I, I know Georgia what you mean. wins I know what winning, you mean. Michigan winning, Florida State um, losing, and Texas losing. I think those four those four things must happen. I mean, I mean, maybe, um, maybe, maybe you can, maybe you can take out Michigan winning, but, I, but. it doesn't, it, I don't, I, I, again, I think Michigan goes to the playoffs regardless. Mich- if Michigan loses, it affects the seeding and nothing else. I think they still get to the playoffs again, unless but it's 59 Georgia, points. Georgia win, Florida state loses, Texas loses. Now no, those, between those, the pack, those, those have to happen between the pack 12. Yeah. I mean, the three that I think absolutely have to happen. Texas, Florida State, Alabama, all lose. Um, now, it is best, best, beneficial. Best case scenario. Best case scenario is Washington wins. Is if Washington wins. That's best case. Now, that being said, I think if Oregon wins, I do not have a high level of confidence who the committee picks between Washington and Ohio state. I, I, I don't know what the committee does in that situation. Quite frankly, I don't know. Uh, so if, so we do want Washington to win, but if Oregon wins, we need them to absolutely embarrass the Huskies. Washington is more deserving per schedule. We can have that conversation about resume. If you want to have that conversation about resume, but their game control metrics are shit. And the committee has been harping on them for weeks about that already. They they are not winning in a pretty manner in a stylish manner. Yeah. Um, And Pe- Penix has not been. Um, he, he's been looking more like Indiana Penix the second half of the season than Washington Penix. Yes. So. Game control metric matters. Washington does not have good game control metric. In other words, they don't have style points, right? So, again, I'd rather not have the conversation of Ohio State versus Washington. We don't have style points. I disagree. Um, So you take Ohio State, boom, in the playoffs. In a maybe in this scenario, um, more definitely in this scenario that would if washington wins i'd feel so much more confident that ohio state's in because yeah alabama with two losses texas two losses oregon two losses florida state with one loss but the committee is going to look so down on on florida state the the, florida state's resume isn't great and yeah, I, I I agree. I agree. I agree. Chop. But this is this is this is what would have to happen. We're we're, we're just we're just we're playing we're, the what we're if. Just game. T- yeah, we're we're playing the what if. We're playing the what if here. 
Florida yeah, State if Florida ended up State, undefeated. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. That's that's but that's not the point. Um, we're, we're, but, I mean, I this think, is an Ohio, think, this is an Ohio State centric podcast. We're talking about what it takes to get Ohio State in. Mm -hmm. OK, now, worst case scenario for the committee here. No, worst we're case, talking you, scenarios. Yeah. Move move everybody down real quick. All right. Move everybody down to move, move them down real quick here. All right. All right. Um, worst case, worst case scenario here for the, for the committee, for the, um, for the committee. Um, I'll start with the easy one. The committee Michigan does not, wins. hold on. I'm sorry. The committee does not care about rankings. The committee does not work for ESPN. They don't care about any of that shit. They're a bunch of school administrators yeah. who have been tasked with the job of picking the best four teams. They don't work for ESPN. Yeah. They don't give a shit about ratings. Okay. Michigan wins. They're in. Okay. In this scenario here, Jared. Michigan wins. All right. Well, I mean, Michigan's in regardless, but yep. okay. They're, they're in. Yeah. All right. Uh, in this scenario, in this scenario, let's say Alabama wins. Texas wins. Florida State wins. Yeah, you can just move them all. Texas wins. Florida State wins. Let's just let's just let's just throw it out there. Let's do Oregon wins. So yeah, now how, now how would have... how would the, how would the committee how would the committee rank this? Oh, we're one hundred percent done in that scenario. That Ohio yeah, State's yeah, not yeah, getting yeah. any. Yeah, no. Ohio State is if Florida State wins, Ohio State's done. If Texas yes. wins. Ohio State is Again, done. The, the three things that have to happen for Ohio State, Georgia winning, Florida State losing, Texas losing. Those three is a must. If one of those does not happen, Ohio State's not getting in. No, Kyle. All of those, not one of those. No, if one of them does not happen. Oh, if one of them does not happen. Yeah, if one of them does not happen, Ohio State will not get in here. But all right, go back to in this scenario, if Michigan wins, Bama wins, Texas, Florida State, and Oregon wins. Florida State would go in, being undefeated, uh conference champion. I think Oregon also would go in as a one loss conference champion. Now the committee here, you have Alabama a one loss um, yeah, one loss, but zero in conference SEC champion. You have a one loss Texas who beat Alabama earlier in the year. And then you have Georgia. Let's just say, let's say Alabama beats Georgia by three. You can't, you can't put Georgia in over Alabama. Who, who would, would you, you also, put? Who would you put forth? Who would you put forth here? Would you put Texas, who beat Alabama, or do you put Alabama there because they just beat Georgia, but yet lost to Texas? By the way, the, chops down here in the chat proving my point from last episode once again. We don't deserve to be in if we need all that stuff to happen to get us in. We're top four team or we're not. You're once again making it out so that Ohio State is the protagonist of the story and that the other teams don't exist. Because if all those, if all that stuff happens, they also don't deserve to be in. Ohio State is not the center of the universe. <laughs> it feels like 07. <laughs> if, if it would take some 07 level shit to get us into the playoffs. <laughs> Who, who would you we're put an in Ohio here, state centric podcast? Yes, but we're an Ohio state centric podcast that attend that attempts to be as neutral is not the right word. Um, what's what word am I looking for? Unbiased. Thank you. Looking to be as unbiased and realistic and objective as possible. So I, I'm just I'm not I'm not trying to make Ohio State the center of the universe here. 
I mean, we did start with a scenario that what it would take to get them yeah. in. But I think part of that is to show people that it's not super likely. Hmm. Who, who, who would you put in in this scenario here, Jared? Um, it's kind of impossible. This this reminds me of the old riddle about having um, the chicken, the corn and the fox. Trying to get them all across the the, the creek in a canoe, but you can only put one in the canoe at a time. Cause like it's hard to put Georgia in over Bama, but it's hard to put Bama in over Texas. But then if we objectively look at their resumes, Texas probably has the worst one. So it makes it really hard to put Texas in over both of those teams who objectively have better resumes which then leads us back to Alabama because they're at least the conference champion with the best resume. But then we have once again, have to go back to the fact that Texas beat Alabama, but then of course we can have the conversation that, well, yeah, but that was in September and Bama was my, I mean, it's the old Virginia tech, Ohio state argument. Yeah, but that one's, that was in September and we weren't very good then, which by the way is true. Alabama had some nasty, nasty offensive line and just in general offensive issues back in September. See you, Chop. They, their offensive line was playing like shit back in September and mostly because it was a very young offensive line and it's playing much better now. And by the way, the same thing could be said about Milrow. Now, has Milrow gotten better or, hey, hear me out here, all the Kyle McCord haters out there, maybe a quarterback just plays a lot better when they actually get a moment to throw the ball. If you're if you're in this in this scenario here, Jared. If you're a Texas fan, you may want to cover your ears. I, I think Alabama would get in. I kind of do too. And Texas fans would be so pissed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and if, and if and this I don't was, blame them. Yeah. But I also don't agree with them. It's kind of, it, it's, it's an impossible scenario for the committee. It's, it's an impossible yeah, scenario I mean, for the I, committee. I mean, yes. I feel bad for the committee. I feel bad for Texas because I think they lose and they'll be pissed off that they lost, that they lost out. But also, yeah, but, but you, it's, yeah, it's it's a, which, it's a which, screwed which, scenario. Which one? Which one that will the if this happens here? What does the committee value more? Is it the head to head matchup, or is it the resume overall? Like which one do you value more? Because if it's if it's the schedule, Alabama by far, by far. Because if you look at Texas schedule here. Let, let's just say Oklahoma, they beat Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State, let's just say they fall off. They're not ranked anymore. Or, or heck, let, I'll just give them. They're, they're still ranked barely in the top 25. They would have one win against Alabama and then Oklahoma State. Yeah. And then you look at Alabama's, Ole Miss, I'm not counting at Tennessee, LSU, and Georgia. And, and and Georgia, yeah, it's yeah. I, I think I think you would have to put Alabama in. Yeah. Well, because also like when you're comparing a bunch of one loss teams, I think it's totally valid to look at the loss, uh, which doesn't help Bama, but also doesn't hurt because like Bama lost to Texas, who is, you know. A top six team, one of the top best top six teams, but they lost by two scores. Georgia lost to Bama, they? who's also already in the conversation. Meanwhile, Texas lost Oklahoma, who is 17th in the country. Like it's the worst yeah, loss of the three. If you're just looking at who they lost to. What a difference this would have made if Texas played Oklahoma and beat them. Well, then, then they're in the in. Uh, conference champion. Oh, in the conference championship game. Yeah, I th again, yes. I, I think I already I think I already said that, like, I, I think it really hurts Texas here. In my opinion, I think it really hurts Texas here. 
Kyle, no, notice how we're not even talking about Oregon. Oregon, like Texas, like Alabama, is a one-loss conference champion. Notice how we just put them in. Mm -hmm. Why? Well, because they'd be beating a really great Washington team in a championship game, and they would have avenged their loss, which I'm oh, yeah. sorry, matters a lot. It does. And, and their schedule doesn't really... Ban, so pan out if, all that well. When, when you look at when you look at uh, victories over top twenty-five teams, really doesn't like Oregon doesn't really have that great of a resume in terms of teams that they've beaten here. Um, they missed out on playing Arizona, but they their two their two wins in this scenario would be against Oregon State and then Washington. So the resume doesn't bode that well, but to your point, Jared, they avenged their they would have avenged their loss there. Yeah, and, and to me, that's almost I mean, just barely almost as good as being undefeated. Mm -hmm. And yeah. if if Texas had pulled Oklahoma instead of Oklahoma State for the Big 12 championship game, I'd put them into the and, and they win. I put them into the playoffs here. And because it's Oklahoma State, I think I'm putting Bam into the playoffs in this scenario. Yep. Doesn't that kind of suck for Texas? It does. It does. All right, I so don't we'll, know we'll, if we'll, I want to make it, to be honest. How dare you ever yeah, call I, 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 Ohio I, 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 State weak or soft and you don't want Ohio State to make the playoffs. Listen, Ivan, I don't give a fuck about the national title at this point. I want to get the playoffs just so I can play Michigan again. Yeah. All I right, want so a second let's, shot let's, at Michigan. Let's, let, let's go ahead and put it back into our, our actual order. So our actual order. I'm sorry, was, but the softest, the softest thing on in the entire Ohio state sphere are, are the fans. I'll say it. Ohio state fans are so fucking soft. All right, let's uh, let's go and let's go and change them back to how we had it here. So in our 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 end of reg, end of season regular season in S tier we have uh, Georgia. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Then then Michigan. Uh, then um, Washington. Then Florida State. Yes, that's the order right there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And again, like, and we, and we did rank a tier. We don't normally do that, but we did do that. I do think this is how a tier currently sits, but Oregon would still jump Ohio state. If they win, Texas would still jump Ohio yes. state if they win. And I think Alabama would still jump Ohio state yes. if they win, but we, we, we were not gifting them those wins. Mm -hmm. That's Correct. That's the point. So Yep. Even though I have, even though we have Ohio State in front of Oregon right now, I don't want another Michigan game. So fucking soft. How how dare you? How dare you call yourself an Ohio State fan and not want an opportunity to beat Michigan again? I like I like this rating here. I, th I think I think this is good here. Um, maybe maybe you could put Oregon in front of Ohio State. It doesn't really matter. But but this is, I, I think this is good here. Yeah, uh, I think this is, I don't know. Well, like when it comes to like, to me, one of the things that factors in is like, to me, one of the things that factors in is like when I watch Ohio State lose to Michigan, right? The, one of the feelings I walk away from is like, hey, if this was an NBA series, right? If this was an NBA series, would this go to seven games? And I, I, I think it would. I feel that way about watching Oregon and Washington. Hey, if this was a best of 12 se or best of the seven series, would this go to six games? I think it would. Um. And I think because football is just one game. I think people end up because they have to because they're forced to because it's just one game. People end up putting so much weight on the outcome of a single game. 
And I don't always know if that's a healthy way of looking at things. Because like in the NBA, we can literally watch two teams go three for three in a playoff game. And like no one, you know, I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm trying to say, or I, I know what I'm trying to say. I don't, I don't know how to say it. I don't, I don't know how to, I know exactly what I'm trying to say. It's, it's the nature of football forces us to put so much weight on, on single outcomes. Yep. All right. Uh, I think that's it, Jared. I think, I think we can go ahead and wrap it up right there. Um, any, any last thoughts about the. Your privilege regular... makes you soft. About, about the, those uh, are not mutually exclusive things. It's the privilege that makes you soft. A victim of your own success. Should I accept losing? No, absolutely not. I think you should. I think you should loosen your focus. I think you are blaming everything on a single individual in a game in which dozens of players played. And that's unhealthy. And unfair to both yourself for not developing your understanding of football to see beyond the player holding the ball. Which is why everyone hates the quarterback, because it's the player holding the ball. So that's the one you're watching. So develop your understanding of football beyond that and stop picking on a 20 year old, however old he is kid. Because you, you refuse to enlighten yourself past a single player. All right, Kyle, uh, do you have anything in, are we, are we done here? Yeah, I think, we're, I think we're good. I think we can go ahead and end it right here. All right. Um, yada, 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 join the discord. Um, buy some t-shirts this Christmas season. I'm wearing the, uh, DBU shirt, which, uh, surprisingly Ohio state has yet to try to claim and take down, but maybe you should go buy it before they decide that they, that they, that they can take it down and just do because they're Ohio state and they're all powerful. So maybe go buy this DBU shirt that I'm wearing right now at merch.thesloopcast.com before Ohio state takes it down. Cause it, that's a ticking time bomb for litter. I literally put up something that was Mario related and it got taken down. Did it get taken down by Nintendo? No, it got taken down by Ohio state. Explain. Didn't, didn't say Ohio state. Didn't say Buckeye anywhere on it. Did they take it down? Yes, they did. Yeah. It feels like a roll of the dice about what they may or may not take down over at merch.thesloopcast.com. So you should probably buy it while you got the chance. If Nintendo had taken it down, I'd have been like, yeah, you caught me. Got me, Nintendo. You tricky bastards, you got me this time. And I and they've and Ohio State has taken some stuff down from the merch store that, that should have been taken down. Also, like let, let me just say that. I put some stuff up there that was real up against that line and they took it down. I don't blame them for that. Why take down the Mario shirt though? I don't know. They tried to take down our Ninja Turtle shirt, too, that I was wearing on the last two recordings. I I challenged that one. And and by the way, like the Ninja Turtle one is, I, I think, totally awesome parody um, and doesn't. I think I think that's totally parody. Um, and by challenge it, by the way, I mean, I reposted it and they didn't take it down again. <laughs> that's what I mean by challenge it, because I don't have the means to actually challenge it. Um. I think it's certainly fair parody, but the, uh, again, it wasn't Nickelodeon that tried to take down the Ninja Turtle shirt. It was Ohio state. Why? Cause it says the Buckeye sloop cast on it. Sorry. That's our name. You don't own the fucking trees, Ohio state. We're the Buckeye sloop cast. You can't own the, you can't own a tree. 
I mean, you can own a tree. You can't own the entire genus of Buckeyes. I don't know if genus is the right word. I'm bad at biology. Point is, point is, go to merch.thesloopcast.com before the the thing you want is taken down by Ohio State's uh, ravenous lawyers. You have anything, Kyle's Corner? Kyle, it's Christmas season. I got to plug the t-shirts, buddy. No, I know. You're good. You're good. Um, no, I, I like don't. it. Like, subscribe, and share the Buckeye Sloopcast on YouTube. Sorry, someone put that in the chat, so I read it. Yeah, if you, if you enjoyed, if you, yeah, if you if you enjoyed listening to us, just tell a friend, tell, tell a family member they enjoyed listening to a couple guys talk about Ohio State. Tell them about us. Get, have them. Get, We're more fun. Tell in them the to give us a try. We're mm-hmm. more fun in the off season. Don't stop listening just because the season's nearing over. We're more fun during during the off season. I'll say that. I think we do our best work in the off season, actually. So stick with if us. if the beat if the BCS was still going, Jared. If the yeah. BCS was still going, yeah, they'd put Ohio State fifth right now. Oh, that's where we put them. Become a patron so Kyle can afford diapers. Kyle, Kyle needs diapers. And yes, you I might be diapers. asking. Yeah, it's, it's uh, yes. Kyle specifically needs diapers. <laughs> he doesn't he doesn't have any kids or anything. Um, it's true. He doesn't have kids. That's a, that's technically true. What I said is a technical truth, Kyle. It is. Different, I'm sorry. Uh, anything in Kyle's corner? No, I don't. All right. That's it. That's the end of the show. Tonight's ending music, just like on Monday, will be the works. That's the W.E.R.K.S. I think they're out of Dayton. Um, I might be mistaken about that, but they're definitely from Ohio. So with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music and, of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, these are the works. 